Hi, I'm John Hartman. Welcome to another installment of John's How To's. In this video, we're going to talk about engines and Lee Chess. Um, if you're watching this video, you're probably a chess fan and you're probably already familiar with uh, Lee Chess. It is a incredibly useful website for chess improvers and chess fans. If you want to analyze your games or do opening research or just keep up with the latest events, uh, Lee Chess is one of the places you might end up. And if you've been on Lee Chess, I'm sure you're used to uh, turning on Stockfish within the Lee Chess interface. Um, what I want to do today is talk about uh, what that Stockfish 14 is, because it's not exactly the Stockfish that you're, you're able to download from the Stockfish website. Uh, I want to talk about how to configure it and understand what those configuration options are. And then for those of you who are looking to maximize the analytical strength of the engine within Lee Chess, I want to introduce you to an app called um, the Lee Chess Local Engine app. And uh, that allows you to connect any UCI compatible engine on your computer to Lee Chess. So it could be Stockfish 15.1, it could be Komodo, it could be Ethereal or Berserk or Rebel, or, uh, and I think this is of particular interest for those of you who do opening work on Lee Chess, uh, you can use Leela. And um, yeah, th there are definitely some benefits for doing so. So without further ado, let's, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to go up and I'm going to go to Watch Broadcasts. And right now, uh, it's Jan uh, January. <laughs> It's June 17th when I'm recording this, and the National Open is going on in Las Vegas. So let's go to National Open. Uh, right now, round seven is underway. And let's see. Which of these opening positions? Well, we should always look at a Neiman game. So Neiman against Conan, uh, or Conan against Neiman. Uh, right now, uh, this game is going on as we speak. And for anybody who's watch the broadcast on Lee Chess. I'm pretty sure you know how to do this. If you go up to this little tab right here, you can turn on Stockfish 14 plus and get an evaluation. Uh, if it says cloud, that means that it's using cloud hardware somewhere. Someone else's computer has analyzed this already. And it thinks that uh, white has an advantage of plus 0.6 and uh, H4 is the next move or should be the best move for white. Let's talk a little bit about all that means. Um, so first of all, you can ask it to go deeper or to really uh, use the hardware on your system. So if you hit plus, it's going to start using your computer's hardware to evaluate the position. Uh, right now, it's looking at about 3 million nodes a second, um, and it's depth 21, so it's not quite as uh, deep as the cloud version yet. But if you let it go long enough, it'll get there. Uh, what is Stockfish 14 plus? Um, the thing to understand about the Stockfish that is embedded in the Lee Chess interface is that it's not the uh, run-of-the-mill uh, standard Stockfish 14 that you're able to download from stockfishchess.org. What it is is a distilled or uh, concatenated neural network had to be shrunk down in order to make it fit into the confines of a web browser um, setup. So it's probably you know 99% as strong as 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 regular stockfish. Uh, the tests that I saw suggest that it's maybe seven to fifteen elo points weaker. For most things, that doesn't really make a difference. But if you're the sort of person who is you know doing very serious analytical work on Lee Chess, or if you're just an enthusiast who wants the absolute best analysis you can you can get, um, you might want to take a look at the configuration in order to tweak. Uh, some of the settings. So we're going to turn this off. Oh, I guess you just played Knight F5. Interesting. Is that good? I don't know. We'll have to take a look. Uh, if you want to tweak the configuration, you can go down to the three lines and you get all these options here. The first that is really important for our purposes is infinite analysis. And when we highlight over it or when we uh, mouse over it, it gives us a little pop-up that says this feature removes the depth limit and keeps your computer warm. Essentially, I think what that means is if we turn this on, it'll just keep going forever. It won't go to depth 30 or anything like that. It will go as long as uh, we allow it to go. So that is good for people who have a desktop, who maybe not are on a, or who are not on a battery. Uh, for most purposes, I think you can just turn that off and, and you can always just click the go deeper button if you want to extend the analysis. Uh, use NNUE. This feature 
is, is uh, involves whether or not Stockfish is making use of the neural net uh, uh, evaluation function that has made it so much stronger in the last couple of years. So I, I think um, definitely you want to leave that on. If you don't see this option in your web browser or in, in uh, on your screen, it simply means that your particular web browser, for whatever reason, is not able to make use of this feature. There are some older browsers where this is the case. Um, now we get to these three things right here where it says multiple lines. That is uh, asking how many analytical lines you would like to see here. Uh, in general, I think you want to have at least two, and I think you can see a good reason why. Uh, right now, we see that G takes F5 is critical. Uh, any other move, according to Stockfish, at depth 26 uh, leads to a white advantage. So uh, Neiman has to accept the piece or uh, face being worse, according to the engine. So having two lines on allows you to discern pretty quickly whether or not one move is absolutely forced in a position. If the evaluations here are basically the same, you know that white probably has at least a couple options that are all of roughly equal worth. So multiple lines, I'd leave it at two. CPUs, this is kind of an important uh, feature to take note of. Most computers, if you uh, take a look at your hardware, it will tell you how many physical cores and how many threads your computer has. If you're on a laptop, it might be four cores and eight threads or four cores and four threads. Um, I know my laptop has six cores, six physical cores, six physical CPUs and 12 threads. My desktop that we're running on right here is eight cores and 16 threads. When you're setting CPUs, my rule of thumb is that you want to set it to N minus two. So N being the number of physical cores on your machine, minus two. That's the maximum I think you generally want to go to. Um, if you max this all the way out to 15, basically you're using all your computer's resources. Well, first of all, for most chess engines, uh, it doesn't really pay to go to more than the physical cores you have because the, the overhead involved with the extra uh, virtual threads sort of eats up all the uh, added uh, speed you get and it also makes your computer work a lot hotter and faster. If you're on a laptop in particular, this is a problem. So I think best practice is to use at most uh, the same number of physical cores you have on the machine, but really N minus two. So if I have eight cores on this machine, I'd probably want to set it to six maximum. Uh, if I have four cores, maybe I want to set it to two. Normally, uh, when I'm using this, uh, this for Lee Chess for my work, I leave it at four, uh, just because I like to have other resources available. I'm usually running chess base or something else. Uh, see, Neiman took the piece. He uh, agrees with Stockfish. Uh, so yeah, so N minus two is the rule of thumb. The last thing uh, that I want to talk about is memory. And this is kind of important. So memory, when it comes to chess engines or uh, hash tables, for those of you who are more engine savvy, basically means the amount of memory that the engine is able to use in order to retain um, uh, an account of the positions it's already looked at and their evaluations. So right now, uh, maybe the engine, if it was running, it would already have seen this position. And with a big hash table, it would be able to store this and millions of other positions like it, along with the numerical evaluation that it created. Uh, once it hits those in the search again, it doesn't have to do the evaluation. So there's no lost CPU time. Uh, it just says, oh, I, I know this is 000, or I know this is 0.2, and that's it. Uh, the more memory you have, the, the better it is for your engine. And again, this is very marginal. I mean, you know, you're talking one or two ELO at the most, but if you want to have the best resources available, this may be important. When you are running Stockfish in the browser, the maximum you can get to, at least on my Windows machine, is one gigabyte of memory. If, you're, uh, if you have a laptop that only has four gigabytes, this is not a problem. Um, you know, you, you never really want to use more than half your available memory in a hash table anyway. Uh, but here, um, I've got 64 gigabytes on this desktop. It would really be nice if I was able to use more than one gigabyte of memory. Um, you know, I, I checked uh, Microsoft Edge. There it's one gigabyte as well. Firefox, for some reason, only allows you to use uh, 256 megabytes. So, yeah, not, not optimal. So all of these things taken together kind of point to the fact that you might want to consider for optimal analytical strength. And again, for you know 99.9% .9 of the things you're gonna do, quick check of a game, I'm sure this is fine. But for those of you power users who, or, or you know, uh, opening, opening students who are really trying to do some good work, I think this might be, uh, this next thing I'm gonna show you is, might be important. So there is a program that you can get. Uh, that is actually not it. <laughs> 
this is about Leela. Uh, it is, yes. There's a program you can download called uh, LeechS Local Engine. Um, and basically what it does is it serves as an in-between mechanism to go between LeechS and an engine on your computer. So uh, you can get this in the Stockfish Wiki, which is on GitHub. We'll put the link to this in the video notes. Um, I'm also going to go to this right now. When you click on that link, it takes you right to the GitHub where this is, and it allows you to download. So uh, you're going to go, if you're using Windows, most likely you're going to use LeechS Local Engine 004 x64 setup. According to the author of the program, this is the one that most people use, and it worked fine. I've already installed it on my computer. Um, so I'm going to go to Programs, LeechS Local Engine, and I'm going to click on this. So this app opens up, excuse me, the app opens up and the first thing you're going to need to do is connect the app to your LeechS account. So you do click here to log in with LeechS and boy I really hope this works. I've recorded this video twice already and the audio for some reason has crashed here. So we're going to, if you're seeing this, it means it worked. Yay. Uh, so we're going to log in. It has logged, it's, it's, it's uh, gone to LeechS. It's asking to be authorized to access your LeechS account. We're going to hit authorize. Okay. And now let's see what happens. So we are authorized and we come back and now it says we need to add a chess engine. So the easiest way to do this is to add Stockfish 15.1. And if you click on this, it will automatically do it. The nice thing about Stockfish 15.1, besides the fact that you can use it, you can use all of your hardware, um, you know, all the hash table you want, all of the CPU time you want. Stockfish 15.1 has also changed the evaluation structure so that it's more uh, realistic to human. Stockfish 14, unfortunately, the evaluations were, were very, very high for a lot of positions. It would be something that a human would look at and think, uh, you know, white's got a decent advantage, but it's not winning. And suddenly the computer would say it was like plus three or plus four. It just didn't feel right. So with Stockfish 15, they fixed that. And that does make a difference. Um, let's, let's just choose a position here. Uh, so, you know, Bishop B2, uh, this position, uh, Stockfish 14 plus says it's plus four. If we want to check uh, and switch to Stockfish 15, we go back to our menu. Now it's not in here, so we're going to have to refresh. We'll go back. We'll go to Bishop B2. And now we're going to open up the menu again. And we've got this uh, engine manager feature. So now I'm going to switch it from Lee Chess to Stockfish 15. Again, it goes back to the main broadcast page. We go to Bishop B2. And before we do anything else, I want to go in here and make sure that this is configured properly. It, it automatically, when it, uh, when it sets it up, it will sort of max out all of the hardware. So right now, it's maxed out to uh, as many threads or, or uh, as it can use. Again, I think general rule of thumb, you want to do... Uh, you know, N minus two. So this is an eight core machine. I'm going to set it to six. The maximum hash table, uh, again, uh, I've got a lot of memory in this computer. Uh, so I can set it to about half of what I have. I can set it up to 32 gigabytes. I think eight is probably plenty. And I'm just going to hit save. So it's got this configuration. And now when I go back, I'm going to uh, hit, because it says cloud, it means we're still relying on the, the evaluation that was sent by the uh, website. I'm going to hit the plus sign or the more sign, and it's going to start calculating. Right? Yes, it's going to start calculating. Um, so already we can see there's a slight evaluation difference. It's a little bit lower. It's plus three as opposed to plus four. Probably doesn't make a difference in this kind of position. It's still kind of quiet. In other positions, like there was one from round six where, uh, if you know the Neiman game, the, the Neiman Nisnik game, uh, when he pushed H4, uh, Stockfish 14 thought it was like plus nine point nine. Uh, Stockfish 15.1 thought it was like plus four. So, you know, there is an evaluation difference. And this is the full, you know, full Stockfish that we're using here. This is the one you can download right from the website. Uh, full neural network size, all the knowledge. Um, this is probably a little more precise. So what's really interesting is we see this going. It's up to 31. It's just going to keep going. Um, you can actually watch it work here. Uh, and you go back to this app. So it's a depth 33. It says plus, you know, plus 0.25 evaluation. By the way, just check out what happened here. We've only run this for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and already almost all of our eight gigabyte hash table is used. 
um, just goes to show how quickly even eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes can fit up, uh, can fill up. So if you just have one gigabyte of memory, that fills really, really quickly. So this is really, really nice. Uh, Stockfish, uh, Stockfish 15 is definitely stronger, probably a better analytical tool just because of the normalized evaluation. Um, but it's not the only engine you can use. So for example, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to go back to the app and I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to go in and add my own. So basically when we want to add our own engine, it's going to be a UCI exec file, Stockfish, Komodo, Leela, whatever, that is living somewhere on your computer. So you need to know where it is. It might be in downloads. Uh, it might be in your chess base folder. If you're a chess base user, you might have an engines folder somewhere. Um, I, since I've already played with this, this is going to open up to uh, my D drive where I've got Leela, the newest version of Leela, or the almost the newest version of Leela. Um, I'm going to put in, oh, excuse me, I'm going to put in, oh, I don't have to put in anything because it's already got Leela in here. Um, I'm going to set it to two threads and I'm going to set it to eight gigabytes of hash. Leela doesn't need nearly as much hash as uh, Stockfish does. So I think this is plenty here. Now I'm just going to hit save. And now it's waiting for moves. Uh, I'm going to hit refresh again. Anytime you change the engine or change the configuration, you're going to hit refresh. All right, they drew already. Okay, so let's go back to Bishop B2. And now instead of Le uh, Lee Chess and Stockfish, it's Lee Chess and Leela. So let's see what happens. We've got Leela. I switch to that. It goes back. Let's run Leela. And again, with Leela, uh, because the way it calculates is a little different, um, it's going to seem much slower here. So instead of millions of nodes per second, it's going to look at like thousands, like two, 1,000, 2,000. Yeah, Leela basically agrees it says it's plus three, or maybe, actually, interesting. I think plus three is the evaluation that it's getting from the cloud, but because the depth has not gotten that far yet, it's keeping it. Right now you can see Leela is saying it's uh, plus one. So even more even, even more equal <laughs> uh, than Stockfish was saying. All right, so you can use Leela, and, and Leela is really good for opening analysis. Uh, if you've seen the other video that we've done so far um, on building an opening repertoire or building opening lines with the Lee Chess study, uh, Leela might be something you really, really want to use there, and I'm sure I'll probably show you how to do that there as well. Um, but for now, let's sort of sum up what we're talking about. Uh, generally speaking, for 99% of the things you're going to want to do, using the onboard, run-of-the-mill, Stockfish 14 Plus is plenty fine. Um, you know, to make sure you're maximizing your capabilities, definitely go into settings, uh, configure it so that you're using the right number of CPUs, configure it so that you have the right number of lines that you prefer. Again, I, I definitely think you need at least two. Uh, you can have three if you want. That's that's up to you. CPUs, uh, N minus two, meaning the physical core is minus two, I think is probably your, your, your limit, but you can play with that accordingly. And the memory, that's also kind of a, an important thing here. Max it out to the, as far as it'll go. But if you really want to sort of boost your your analytical power, if you want to get the most precise evaluation, use the right tool for the job, depending on what you're doing, I think this this app is is a really, really handy thing to know about and to install on your computer. Particularly if you have uh, some serious hardware, if you know, if you uh, have a really good video card, uh, you're a gamer and you, you have a uh, a really strong video card, a really powerful video card, Leela will be a really, really good tool for you to use. If you have a lot of uh, CPU cores, if you have a powerful CPU, using the Stockfish 15.1 as opposed to this Stockfish 14, um, it'll give you a little bit more precision in your analysis, something you can trust a little bit more. Um, you know, so your mileage may vary, of course, and, and uh, at the end of this you may think, boy, I just wasted 19 minutes of my life. I certainly hope not. But um, at the end of the day, hopefully you've learned something new about Lee Chess um, and Chess Tech. Definitely come back and check out our YouTube channel for more of John's how-tos, where we're going to give you Chess Tech tips and tricks. It took me a long time to figure out how to say that. Um, yeah, and I, I hope you found this useful. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have questions. I'll try to answer the ones I can. Um, no promises because uh, I'm busy. <laughs> but um, I do appreciate you watching, and uh, yeah, check back for more in the future. Thanks.